Hi everyone, it's December 21, 2014. I'm passing along a documentary that I just watched. The title of is Chemtrails, The Secret War, produced by Antonio and Rosario Marciano of the Italian website Tanker Enemy, and it is an outstanding documentary in that it takes a lot of complex subjects and communicates those subjects back in a rather simple, understandable manner. And I do hope that everybody circulates it. One thing that I didn't know in here is that there was a French company, a certified lab, that studied the filaments, the chemwebs that we're seeing dispersed by planes. They've identified these chemwebs as complex polymer organism, organisms based on synthetic chemicals. But they also found that they contain various aromatic compounds and toxic synthetic products one product, DEHP, highly toxic. It interferes with the endocrine system. Essentially, they found a whole lot of chemicals that are a threat to public health and the environment. But it also goes into the motivations of, of geoengineering, which there's a whole lot of goals that they're achieving here, changing the weather, mind control programs, the frequencies that are coming from our computer screens and TV screens, from the satellites, from cell phone towers, are being used to manipulate our mental processes, goes into the interests at stake, uh, that they're altering the atmosphere in order to facilitate wireless communications. Also, the chemical compositions used to absorb atmospheric moisture and prevent cloud development. And the harmful compounds to produce a greenhouse effect. No, man is not causing global warming in the way that a whole lot of people think. Man is causing it by the geoengineering. Not because we're driving cars and breathing and cows are farting. It's because of the geoengineering and how it traps the infrared radiation in the atmosphere and that combined with thermal energy, heat. Heat waves that we're seeing are artificially created. And the spreading of the chemtrails, which blocks the sun, interfering with photosynthesis, which affects all biological processes of all life forms, causing the droughts and powerful hurricanes. But, you know, it just, it really simplified a lot of um, things that are very hard to understand, like the electromagnetic frequencies, which break the link between oxygen and hydrogen in water molecules, which will make the atmosphere less humid, but it also goes into the carbon tax and climate weapons used to generate huge profits for many industries. Killing of the bees, the consequences to our health, the aluminum, so neurotoxic, it's affecting our nervous system, causing an increase in dementia and Parkinson's and um, the consequences to the environment. But it, the ultimate goal is to control economies and resources. It actually mentioned, um, it's interesting watching these foreign documentaries on chemtrails talk about the United States. But in here it mentioned Hurricane Katrina and how the Bush circle of millionaires made a whole lot of money off of Hurricane Katrina. So I do hope that you watch it and I hope that you circulate it. 